Another interesting development from yesterday. Tyree Kill, formerly with the Chiefs, who knows a thing or two about what Steve Spagnuolo can do by way of putting a good defensive game plan together. And Spagnuolo now has put together some of the all-time great Super Bowl defensive game plans. He was a head coach once with the Rams. It was a disaster. Tyree Kill asked... And I'll paraphrase, why doesn't Spagnolo get any interviews to be a head coach? Kevin Demoff, the COO of the Rams since 2009, acknowledged something that we said in the past. Basically, and this isn't Demoff's word, this is mine, the Rams were a shit show back then. Right. It was a dysfunctional mess. There was infighting at every level of the organization. Demoff said it's well past time to see Spags get another head coaching opportunity. The team and the organization he inherited in St. Louis was a mess. Nobody could have had success. Nobody could have had success. And he changed the culture and the staff and the players believed an amazing human being deserving of the real shot we couldn't give him. Hey, Kevin, that's great. Why didn't you say that before all the seats were taken? Why weren't you pushing him the way you were pushing Raheem Morris? Why, why don't you? I mean, this ridiculous. I, I got no problem with the candor from Kevin Demoff. I appreciate it. But how about piping up and speaking your mind when one of the jobs was still available? What the hell? Why don't we hear this from Demoff before yesterday? Well, so yeah. let's remember it when we get to the next cycle, when when Spagnuolo's another year older. And I do think that there is an age issue, an Definitely. age discrimination 100%. issue in the NFL. Right. It's not going to be any easier for him a year from now to become a head coach. No. But come on, Kevin. Great, great, great job, Kevin, sticking up for the guy when there's nothing anyone can do about it. Uh, well, listen, don't be too critical. He did do a nice thing that he didn't have to do. I mean, it was still but cool that he sent out the text. Late. I understand. Yeah, you'd like it early, but he's also got a guy that like was a defensive coordinator on his own staff who won a Super Bowl. Where he's like, well, I'd like to see my guy get a job first before I start to pub some guy when I first got to the Rams, right? You know, twelve years ago, and get him the job. So don't be too critical of him. It still was a nice. Well, tweet let me say this. Let me there. say this. Yeah, yeah. Let me say this. I, and, and I'm on record. Right. You know, the NFL has a long history of issues with giving fair opportunities to minority coaches. It has been a chronic problem for decades. They're facing litigation over it. It's real. Troy Vincent has admitted on the record two years ago when Brian Flores filed his lawsuit. It's real. So I'm on board with any effort to make it better, even if the effort is imperfect. And the current effort, I believe, is imperfect, but it's better than nothing. But, Chris, to answer your question... He got two third-round picks when Raheem Morris got a head coaching job. Sure. He wasn't going to get anything if Steve Spagnuolo got a head coaching job. So that's the answer to your question well, yeah. at a very basic, cynical level. And we know that's how teams think. That's the difference. Well, it's good business. I mean, yeah. What do we want him to do? Oh, wait. Forget my guy that won me a Super Bowl and let me pub somebody. I mean, again, don't be I, too critical. I mean, he did the right I, thing I, there. He still I, did the I, right I, thing. He, well, you know. He did it late. He did it too late for it to matter. Well, it, he did you know, it too late for it to matter. Some other that's people. That's point. on the Chiefs. The Chiefs should be doing that. They should be saying it. They should have said this three weeks ago in a tweet. Clark Hunt should have said it, right? That it, it, It's not on the Rams to start worrying about other coaches on the other staff. So, I, I know, you know. It's better at this point to just. I know, but you're right. I, I hear you. Still, it's either hollow. way. It rings hollow. You, it I rings get you. hollow now. He's the greatest coordinator. One of the point. greatest coordinators we've ever seen, right? Definitely. He's another great example of why coordinators need to be in the Hall of Fame. You can't you can't seriously talk about some of the Super Bowls and the history of the game without bringing up Spagnola's name. I mean, come on. I mean, it's it's insane what he's done. So, he's incredible that way, but I agree with you. It's the age factor. It's all of those things that uh hurt him and yeah, I, I, Tyree Kill. Damn. He sounds like he's trying to get his way back to Kansas City the last Break few days. Break up the Chiefs. Well, I mean, he's trying Reed and, to, he's Reed and Mahomes are different. And, you know, that. All right, he's trying to – he's kissing some butt again here. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Right. Wouldn't that be something <laughs> if one of the moves that happens this offseason is Tyree Kill returns – I lied. I lied. Mahomes is more accurate. Mahomes is better. I mean, Mahomes yeah. is the MVP. <laughs> I lied. I can't help it anymore. <laughs> kind of hard to think the Chiefs would want him back after going two for two and winning Super Bowls without him. Right. Kind of hard to think that they're pining away, you know, for Tyree Kill to return. All right, time to take a break. Oh, one one last thing. And and this, uh, this goes to what we're saying about Demoff. It's not like no one was saying Spagnolo should get a chance and the Rams were a crap show when he was there. We were saying it when jobs were open. And right. presumably he's 
in a position to be aware of what we're talking about. That would have been the time to do it, not after the confetti falls on the Super Bowl and all the jobs are filled. Again, I, I, I appreciate the sentiment. It just rings completely hollow to me because it comes at a time where it's not going to matter. And by next year, as we said, he's a year older and we know, and hopefully this becomes a focal point, that the NFL definitely has an age issue that takes a back seat to the much bigger and longstanding chronic problems the NFL has had when it comes to proper representation of minority coaches in key positions in the NFL. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.